Just want to let you lot know that if you're watching this clip on the Fozcast YouTube channel, the full episode is now available to watch exclusively on Spotify. And it's free. Come on. Obviously, you picked up an injury. Was it around Christmas time? Yeah, it was before the World Cup. So I tore my quad off the bone. Oh. And um, obviously, I had surgery to put it back on. But where he's gone through like all the nerves to reattach it, I've got no feeling in my leg. So it's like... Is that going to come back? He said eventually. But I was like, I'm not going to drag my, drag my leg around a pitch. Can yeah. imagine that? Like, I can just about move as it is now. So everyone's like, carry on and still put more in your legs. I was like, mate, I don't move out the centre circle now. Really, yeah. I'm chasing the ref, if anything. What do you, how do you do that injury? Is that in a game? Yeah. Literally, I hit a diag. I felt it rip. I thought... Two seconds later, ball come to me. I passed it five yards and poof, an explosion like in my leg. Like I've been shot in my leg. And mate, it, it was the worst pain I've ever felt. Is there any like reasoning behind that or anything? Is there like, was there, was there an excessive overload in the build up to it? Is there like a super hard pitch or something? Do you well, know what I mean? don't know. Well, we did like playing a long ball at Luton, didn't we? So <laughs> <laughs> it just might have been over you sitting Dyax. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was just wear and tear, I think. And uh, I think it was time and a body. Your body tells you, yeah. doesn't it? Aches and pains. Trying to put your socks in in the morning. I was like, I can't even bend on Really? Like, sit in the chair for too long. Trying to get out of Stiff here. Stiff back. Can't get out of that. So when, when, when was the decision made? <laughs> of, in, I'm, I'm not doing it. Uh, in my head, probably when I had the surgery, and no, there was no feeling coming back. And it was weird. Like, I come back to training. And I could train all right, but I was like, going in for a massage, and it was, weren't feeling it. No. Weird, that is, isn't and it? I was like, just touching my leg. He's like, keep rubbing it. I'm like, I can't feel it. Like tingling sensations, and I'm like, nah, it's, it's not right. You can't. I mean, I could have dragged it out, yeah. but it wouldn't have been fair. Like, obviously, to the people that are paying me for not giving me, I'm not for myself, not giving them 100. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So when you were, when you're on the training pitch, then at that point, did you, you got back to training, you got back at everything, like you felt like okay, but do you do you feel like you're off the pace a bit? Do you feel like you're not quite the same? Yeah, 100. percent Like. Trying to, I can read the game well. My mind's there, yeah. but my body's not moving. It's not moving and not catching up. And I'm like, can these kids are so quick these days. <laughs> these <laughs> like, little what? kids. Yeah, <laughs> literally, I'm just like, I'm going to smash them. I'm going to smash them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just running around smashing people. And I was like, I know where you're going, but I can't get there. And it was just like, like time's time, isn't it? It's, it's like, that do me, hands up. Thanks for the career. Thanks for everyone. And just called it a day that way. And like you said, it was a real, it was a kind of, because I don't know you felt it, didn't you, Benny? Recently, yeah. when you said it was like a just a, a load off your shoulders. Yeah. Where... Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? That feeling of, like, say, for, for me, like, a, for a massive part of it for me was the drive. Like, depend, people, again, people don't realise that once you get a little bit older, you get roots, don't you, to where you're going to be living, you get yeah. family, all that kind of stuff. And depending on where that football club is, you could be in the car for, like, I've heard stories about lads being in the car for, like, four hours. I've heard, yeah. I've heard stories of lads living in Manchester, driving down to... London, deepest parts mm. of London, every single day. I'm back every day. Do you know what I mean? Eight, nine hours in the car. Yeah, well, I did a bit of that at Villa. When I went playing, I was injured, and I was like, oh, I'm going up and down. Yeah, I've, I've got to do it. Then, obviously, I bought a place up there, tried to stay up there now and again, but when you're not playing, you know, it's like get injured. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm going back home. It's my happy place back home. That's and it, yeah. Left the kids and that down south, and M1 was my best mate, and yeah. I used to hate oh, it. M1's horrible, oh, mate. But the only tweet for I went on it yesterday for the first time in a while. I was actually happy because I was going to look at mowers. <laughs> <laughs> which, which leads us <laughs> nicely on. So this was um, a, a story, right? So obviously when you had your uh, announcement that you've retired, a lot of uh, the kind of red tops led with story about... Um, the grass isn't always greener. The grass, well, the grass is, grass is greener. greener. Yeah, the yeah. grass is greener. So, so the first time I heard about this was, I think we, we know um, John Crownshaw. Do you know John Crownshaw? So um like an agent agent guy and he said to me last year he's talking to us i think we had a beer with him didn't he, he yeah. said henry lansbury's um obsessed with lawns like la lawns and mowing and maintenance and growth and i said okay that's interesting it's really interesting because it's a little bit quirky i guess for a footballer isn't it yes and um and funnily enough that week he told us about it. I was had the TV on and you were playing for Luton and you scored that rocket. Absolute rocket, yeah. And I noticed then you went off and did a lawnmower impression, yeah. um, celebration. celebration. Yeah. I don't think anyone knew what it was about. And I'll text John straight away saying, imagine that. Like, that was that was madness. And where did it come from, the obsession with lawns? It was during like the first lockdown. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, had my, I had my mother-in-law with me and she wasn't very well. So they was like, look, don't come in. Uh, stay at home because yeah. obviously, obviously, passing all about and that. 
and um, I was at home and I had a gardener come round and it wasn't my usual gardener and he cut the grass and he left it a bit long and I was like no nah, mate I said can you go over that again and get it a bit shorter <laughs> and he looked at me weird he's like yeah no worries he got in his van and he just took off so I was like nah so I rang my mate up whose company it was I was like mate you like ain't coming back in here. Yeah. Like, it's done. I'm not having that. So I called me up, mate. I was a groundsman. I said, like, got, got a lawnmower. He's like, what the f do you want a lawnmower for? I said, I'm going to cut grass, mate. He's left it long. Ever since, mate, laid the first stripe, I was like, oh my God. This is this nice. This is nice. I'm out of the house. I'm just like that. Got my headphones in. Peace and quiet. Oh, mate. I was out there for about an hour and a half doing the edges. And Mrs. was like, what are you doing? I was like, cutting the grass. You should try it. So I got the mower out first. She's like, yeah, I can't see it. <laughs> Legged it back in. I was like, I'll do it. Don't worry. So tell me, tell me your garden at home, your lawn is just beautiful, right? It has to be. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, well, it wasn't before I had like mole hills and all that. Fun enough, they're back now. But I've relayed it all. Yeah. Top dressed it all. Got about 25 tonnes of topsoil. Turned it all over. Flat as a pancake. Reseeded it from the start. Mate, it's, to be fair, it's up there now. Did you get into it? Sorry, man. Did you get into it in terms of like, Obviously, like researching YouTube books, and how far into it did you get? I'm a YouTuber now, so literally, I watch a few of them on YouTube, and I like I fall asleep to it because I leave it on. It's kind of like they're talking like Americans. I love the Americans; yeah, yeah. they're full on, and um, they just suck me in. They've land stripes, got all these mowers, and I'm like, I'm going to get a mower like that. And then ever since that, I've just been sucked in, watching, watching, and just doing it myself. Yeah, I, I, I watch a few of these videos, you know. I, <laughs> it, it must, I must be like these kind of, you know, the time lapse ones that they yeah, do. So mate, whether it's the big American like sit on mowers where they do, I've seen guys doing like zigzag shapes yeah, yeah. on the grass and stuff like that, or if it's like the time lapse of them completely relaying it. Oh, so mate. where they comp they get the big machines in and they're kind of taking the top level off and all that, and then reseeding it, and mm. then it's like they even take set up the time lapse of like the grass growing over yeah, like the weeks and months and all that kind of stuff. Crazy. Some it's of the stuff so they do. satisfying though isn't it but there is a guy on there as well he does like free mo fridays yeah so he goes and knocks in someone's free mo fridays this guy it. have you Class. seen this yeah, yeah. he goes and cleans up the worst free. Free. Wait, i'm so tempted to just go and knock on people's doors 100 like, do you need to do that mate we can sort that out for you we can do the filming and all that kind of stuff you just set yeah. up a time lapse camera and all that kind of stuff this guy must make so much money oh, mate. He, the, the thing is everything everything gets paid for off the ads and that might he does as well yeah but that. he gets millions of views absolutely millions of views you just need to go you need to go around like a bit of a rough area kind of thing look for the worst overgrown bad boy sort of thing and mm. then just go and absolutely obliterate it well the it. funny thing is I've got this I've got this brought this van so two Polish geezers dropped it off to me give them a bit of cash for it and they uh, drove off so I was like wicked got my van got it all wrapped up in my <laughs> stuff and uh, put the stuff in it <laughs> went open one of the side doors wouldn't open no so I was like why is this not opening I pulled it <laughs> handles falling off oh, no, no. went to lock it central locking don't work <laughs> Did it I'm actually like, drive? Did it, it, it drove, but you know, like you're shaking. I'm in a big van like this. How shaking. much was about 100 quid? Wait, literally a bit more than that. I think it sucked me in. But it looked so good on the pictures. So I was like, I'll have that. And then wrapped it all up, put all my tools in the back and I go around and do people's garden. Hey, you need, I, this is a genuine thing then, all right? You need to start doing this, all right? Because oh, you it. need to be the UK version of Freemo Fridays. Fridays. I'm Freemo every day at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's the company called? My company's called Grass Gains. So as the story started, back to the misses again. It was obviously, you know, all the keep a football pitch, you have to spray it for weeds and all that. So I was getting to know all the stuff and I was like, and then my mate was spraying it for me. He was like, right, kids can't go on it for a bit. Dog can't go on it. So I was like, you know, what's, what's in it? He was like, oh, it's toxic, but it's brilliant stuff. Yeah. Like no weeds in that in the garden. So Mrs. Bats went like, whoa, 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 can't go on it for eight hours. She's like, what? So it's been sprayed. She's like, why haven't you got no non-toxic stuff? Make it organic. Yeah. I was Good like, shout there. I was like, bing. Can we make organic fertilizer? He was like, and I said, have you got any organic fertilizer? He was like, nah, nothing on the market that's decent. I was like, can we make one? He was like, you're having me on it, yeah? I said, no, no, let's go for it. Made a decent one. Tried it, trialed it on mine all the yeah. time. Mate, it just pops. It's like rocket fuel, the organic for the soil and the grass, and then getting to know the details of it all. It's just taken off, so we're moving in the right direction. Trade shows, I'm just loving going around and talking to people about grass. Like, they're like, oh, you used to play yes. football. <laughs> but the worst thing yesterday, I was at one yesterday. All the groundsmen are coming over. How are you, mate? Like, loving it. I'm like, yeah, how are you? Like, as in my what are you using? Like, tines and all that. <laughs> and they're like, like, why have you gone into grass? I'm like, I love it. I love it. I've got the addition. <laughs> now, like, Lester invited me up to go, because you know how good yeah, Lester's is. Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? I was like, oh, I'm going to have to come up and 
new training grounds. And just show me around, have a little yeah. look and all that kind of stuff. He's like, we've got 48 mowers and you can have a look at them. I'm like, ooh. That was. <laughs> 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 it's so weird, but I love it. Everyone laughs at me, but I laugh and then they call me up can you come to the garden well there you go do you know yeah what I mean? there you go yeah are you doing a bit of work i read online <laughs> are you doing a bit of work with fulham gank Arsenal? yeah so they're taking the fertilizer Amazing. um so obviously the boys connections that i work with obviously have links and in the clubs and that and clubs are trialing it and down at hale end now he's nick down there he's brilliant he's uh he's hilarious and he's like come down come down mow with me i'm like no nah, can't mow, but you can buy some fertilizer if you want. Yeah, and he's, right he's well. taking the fertilizer. Fulham are taking it. Pictures look amazing. Yeah, but it's obviously not just the fertilizer; it's the guys that are on it in twenty four seven, isn't they? Taking care of it. Yeah. Well, to yeah. be fair, the Watford, um, the Watford groundsman, mate, that pitch. He mm. just got that ting as he, he, he got groundsman, that of, groundsman, the year groundsman of the year a couple yeah. years in a row. That place was an absolute joke, honestly. Well, I spoke to him. When did I speak to him yesterday? Because Scott we, Tingley, by the way, yeah. shout out Scott. He's um, taken one of our germinators. Yeah. So we made this like machine. Just like put seed in it, stab it in the ground, and your seed germinates. Yeah, it's a bit like the Germinator. <laughs> so we call it the Germinator. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so we're having a laugh of it, but it's hey, they're flying. We just um, got an order off Real Madrid for twelve of them. Shut up. So I might, I might hand delivery to Madrid for a couple it's of days, amazing. right as well. So it's going in the right direction, but it's just it started off as a laugh, but yeah. <laughs> like serious, take it serious now. Is it, is it true you had a patch of your own at, at Luton? Yeah, the facilities ain't the best and there's only a few groundsmen. Shout out to them, like they'd work hard. But um, I took over this patch out the front of the changing room. And uh, Current player? What, whilst you, you were still, still playing? Yeah, yeah, I'll take my van, like I said, got my van wrapped up, it's, rolling it's, early. What are the boys saying to this, by the way, when yeah, you're bowling up in this van? What is this mad Dude, geezer? Like, the worst thing is, the funniest thing, I went in early. One, one morning, so I've got my hood up, got my work stuff on, and I'm, and I'm mowing. <laughs> Ground, Groundsman's come over. He didn't know it was me. He's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I was like, oh, kept me hood down. So I'm just going to show you my work, so I want, I want a job on the ground and that. He's like, no, he can't mow here. I like, pulled me about. I was like, Wee. He's like, what are you doing this for? I was like, you don't fucking do it. I'll do it. <laughs> Never since that, they left it to me. Boys are like, oh, striped up, lovely, isn't it? I was like, yeah, I wonder who did that. I was thinking, I was like, yeah, it's me. <laughs> Mad. It's funny. Thanks everybody for watching. We hope you enjoyed this clip of the Fozcast. If you would like to watch the full episode, it is now available exclusively on Spotify for free.